Good morning. I'm standing in front of one of the most important buildings in Belfast. This is the entrance to the avenue leading up to Clifton House. This was the Belfast Poor House. And just beside it uh, is this uh, notice board. Clifton House uh, built 1774 on land given by uh, Chichester, Arthur Chichester, and uh, money uh, donated from the dignitaries in Belfast. I should have videoed that once the, the bin lorry went past. Clifton House is without question one of the finest Georgian buildings in Belfast that's surviving. Um, it was Belfast Poor House, and you can read that down for yourself. Earl of Donegal contributed eight acres. Foundation stone led 1771, and the charitable institution opened three years later in 1774. And the people received a balanced meals, bread, cheese, milk, broth, peas, porridge, meat, served every Sunday, a rare treat in those days. And they uh, opened a graveyard, and I have videoed that at the Clifton Street. There you go, Clifton House. Let's uh, take a wee Jeff Duke. I think it's a heritage centre now, but the boys are working out the front, so uh, can't get in that way. And at one time, um, there was 36 uh, people living in here, and there was 24 beds in the infirmary. And people like uh, William Drennan and all the rest used to drop by. I think he was a surgeon or doctor or something. And it took £3,000 to build this back in the 1770s. Sort of symmetrical. It is symmetrical. Clifton House. One of the finest Georgian buildings left standing in Belfast. And Clifton House actually stretches quite a bit back here. You wouldn't just quite imagine this from the front. And there's so much history in here. Here is a, well, a representation of Mary Ann McCracken. And she was a, a strong and influential woman involved in the, in the poor house here at Clifton Street. And of course these, these uh, folks were uh, United Irishmen as well. And here's a representation of, of Dr. William Drennan. And he, he coined the phrase Emerald Isle. And he was running about uh, in here from time to time. But uh, Mary Ann McCracken, social reformer, uh, was, was pride of place in here. Mary Ann McCracken, 1770-1866, donated by the artist Elizabeth O'Kane with kind permission of the Belfast City Hall who commissioned the bust in bronze in 2004. And the bronze bust can be seen in the City Hall apparently. And there's a wee bit of information about Mary Ann McCracken and her massive, massive contribution to the well-being of the destitute and the poor. Belfast. She was like the Mother Teresa of her day. Yes. These are old water pipes. Originally water was distributed throughout Belfast using, using wooden water pipes like these. They were made from elm and came from London. The elm was hollowed into a pipe by a professional borer in the employment of the society. Eventually wood was sourced locally from Tandig Key.
For some 45 years, the society was entirely responsible for bringing water supply to Belfast. And these are, these are examples of the old wooden pipes. Isn't this, isn't this amazing? Wooden water pipes. There's so, so much in here. All about the Belfast Poor House. There's Henry Joy and Elizabeth Gray, typical of the mentally ill people who were admitted to the poor house because there was nowhere else for them to go. Totally received payment, usually 13 for each. 13p for each idle bag baggery brought to the poor house. The people of the poor house. Mary West, an abandoned child. And the poor house did great work in, in, in looking after the destitute. There's widow, information about Widow Rules or Ross. And here's, here's Thomas McCabe, a prominent Protestant businessman, and he was also a United Irish man with a goldsmith and watchmaking business in North Street, was founder member of the United Irish Men. Society regularly met in his house, the vicar, the, the Vincentage. Now St Malachy's College beside the poor house, Thomas McCabe. This, this, this uh, Clifton Street house is just a remarkable discovery. And here we have uh, information about burials and body snatchers. And he, here's James Stewart. And he, he was a body snatcher. And there's all the information about him. And look at this. This is a coffin for a child. 10th of September, 1847. Mary Roberts, aged 12. And Thomas Adams, aged 1. And this is Valentine Jones. And here's Pat Connolly, and he was involved in making the coffins. Street lamp. By Act of Parliament in 1800, the society became responsible for the street lighting in Belfast. This lamp bracket, which would have been would have held a bowl of oil and reeds, dates from 1771. So not only did the, the charitable society, the Belfast Charitable Society, bring water to Belfast. But they also brought street lights. This old gun dates from the time of Clifton Street Cemetery and it was used by the guards, people guarding uh, the graves so that the body snatchers couldn't get the, the, uh, the freshly buried bodies for medical experiments. And this is the old uh, Corporation Church bell, dating from 1731. The bell normally stands at the entrance hall of Clifton House, though for many years it hung in the tower of the same building. It would appear from records to have been placed in the poor house in 1774. You can read the rest of that yourself. There's the old bell. Hidden Secrets of Belfast. And apparently uh, there are organised tours, and I think there's a, a 
they can, you can uh, join one of these tours for uh, the price of about five or six pounds. And there's tours, uh, I guided tours around uh, Clifton House here, and well worth coming along they are too. So come and check the place out for yourselves. This Belfast Charitable Society was basically uh, the forerunner of our modern day hospital system and the NHS. And this is one of the foundation, foundation stones for our present day NHS. Without this, our hospital system might not have evolved into what it is today. So good on them. In 1774, up on the top of the spire there. It's not good. Tristan House, come and see it for yourself on the Friday tours. <laughs>